Oh, my name is Delaine Dorothy Coleman. Oh, I'm president of the Prince Henry Sinclair Society of North America. Well, that's a historical society that we set up in 1993 when we discovered the history in uh, Guysboro of Prince Henry landing with 13 ships um, in 1398. Frederick Pohl wrote a book of Prince Henry Sinclair's expedition to the New World in 1398. And having read the book, we uh, toured all of the sites that uh, Frederick Pohl used in the book to uh, prove the history and uh, we were convinced ourselves that everything that he said and wrote was accurate so we started a society to uh, promote the history which was very important because it was almost a hundred years before Columbus I erected a monument and a park in his honor on the uh, and the government uh, verified it for me he gave me the land to erect the monument at the park so the people have been amazed. I've had books up there where they sign it and make their uh, remarks, and they were so fascinated to learn of this history that they never knew anything about. People from all over the world signed the book. So it was, uh, it's been a very interesting uh, pursuit. My career, I, I've had so many careers. Uh, I don't know which career. This wasn't a, actually a career, it was a, a side uh, interest. Uh, of, a, of history. Um, my other careers were uh, just interest again. I get interested in a lot of things and I pursue them. So, uh, I mean, I, I've been in everything, in engineering, aid, and gotten a lot of scholarships to a lot of different schools and have always been interested in history. And my husband was quite a scholar. And um, so when we delved into uh, a lot of history, and a lot of supporting history to this story uh, and work with Niven Sinclair who is in Scotland and we went over to meet him uh, because he was instrumental in uh, supporting all of this history. That's how I got interested in it with uh, just the very fact that we read this book and, and it verified it and decided to promote it to let everybody know because just the book itself was not really giving a lot of uh, information to the public, uh, to the mass public, that they could learn about the story. Okay, so that's how I got interested. Uh, and Niven keeps us going. He's still uh, active, although he's 90. He's in, uh, as I say, Scotland and England. And he's still working very, very hard on uh, more research and more research and more research. So we have, uh, there's a new book coming out uh, that being worked on uh, now for over a year and that will have all the very latest information and verification of the, of the story. Um, but the man who's writing the book is doing a great deal of traveling and uh, verifying all the history that we have up to date uh, before he finishes the book. So that will be out probably next year and, uh, and it's up to me to keep all the members aware of uh, what we're doing, what progress, have meetings to uh, support where, what we're doing now and what, where we want to go and uh, what plans we should be doing to uh, keep the momentum. One of the women I admire most was Margaret Thatcher in, in England. She was quite a great lady and uh, she was dedicated to truth and honesty and I think uh, she and Reagan were a great pair because he was too. And I think uh, they were inspirations to me, to the kind of people, the integrity, you know, uh, that, that they had and their, and their sincere dedication to, you know, their countries and, and what they believed in instead of a lot of political nonsense for people's power. Uh, that's, that's an inspiration to me, these kinds of people. Uh, I had a TV show that I did an hour a day on cable. Um, it was called the Dot Stern Show. My name was Stern at that time. And um, I was on for an hour every day. And I interviewed uh, all the local people, news, local news. I wrote judges on the show and uh, did astrology shows. And it was very, very interesting uh, to have a show like that and have interviewed all different kinds of people. And I've done varied and sundry things that have 
made have been very, very rewarding to me. And uh, all I can say is people should just, everything they're interested in, pursue because it's, it's, it brings you back a lot of fulfillment and a lot of uh, self-satisfaction. And uh, then I wrote my book, Trust and Betrayal, and uh, that was all about taking responsibility for yourself and your health. Uh, don't let anybody make decisions for you. You have an illness, find out about it and make sure that uh, people are on the right path and they're giving you things that are going to help you and not hurt you. Uh, and that's most important. Don't turn your life over to anybody else. It's your life. And, uh, and God gave you a good body and he gave you a good mind and gave you health. Gave you health. And it's your responsibility to take care of your body. I, in gratitude for the fact that you weren't born crippled or, or brain dead or... You should do the best you can to take care of yourself and take care of your health. Eat right, and exercise and uh, and that, that can be your gratitude to God for giving you a good body and a good mind.